Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here, and today we're talking about the much-anticipated class rework for Battlefield 2042 that we'll be releasing, I believe, later on this month with patch 3.2. Now you might recall that weapons are not restricted to specific classes this time around as has been the case in past Battlefield games but instead each class will have its own weapon proficiency for a certain type of weapon. However, those proficiencies, what they do and even some of the weapon classes themselves now seem to be changing. So let's discuss. Before we do though, as always, it'd be awesome if you guys could subscribe if you enjoy the Battlefield content. We're creeping ever closer to 40k and your guys' support really means the world to me. Plus, you'll get an internet cookie as well as make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. So if that doesn't convince you, I don't know what will. So these findings have come from the one and only Temporal. He's found new info within the game files that suggests the weapon proficiencies as well as for which class those weapon types and proficiencies are is changing. Now I've been covering Temporal's findings for long enough that if he says something, it's usually bang on the money. And it would make sense for DICE to begin adding this sort of stuff into the current build, given the fact that patch 3.2 is getting pretty close now. So let's go through this here class by class and take a look at how this could change the landscape of Battlefield 2042. So beginning with the Assault class, so that's McKay, Dozer, Sundance and Zane, their old proficiency was Assault Rifles are ready to fire quicker after sprinting. So faster sprint to fire time, very strong buff for an Assault player there, and the new proficiency is that you get three extra magazines. So overall I would say this change is a pretty big nerf. I will say that DICE have mentioned that they have been testing these class changes with select groups of the Battlefield community for some time now and have received lots of feedback, so they are implementing these changes with that feedback in mind. Of course, this was all done under NDA, so we don't really know who was invited and who wasn't, but if I was invited and I was running around with, let's say, McKay, arguably the best specialist in the game, who is going to be nerfed soon, and is the top pick of almost every godlike infantry player out there. If I was running around with him and his awesome nimble trait, and then also had an assault rifle with the quicker sprint to fire time, all I'm saying is, I can imagine that being a bit too good. And it wouldn't surprise me if the feedback from said players had been along those lines. In any case, I think it sounded by far the best proficiency out of the four, so I'm not against DICE changing this. However, the perk they've added here, getting three extra magazines, kind of has me scratching my head. It's rather boring compared to what we had, although probably quite beneficial as well. This basically means that if you're playing the Assault class with an Assault Rifle, you no longer need to worry about ammo. However, it also directly contradicts the role of the support class, which is to supply health and ammo. And who is the main class you're normally supplying ammo to? The Assault class. So yeah, that one is a bit special. Overall, good for the Assault class itself, but probably bad for class synergy overall. Moving on, and this is a big one here, we have the support class, Angel, Falk, and Irish. As of DICE's announcement last November, the support class had a proficiency for the LMGs, which gave them additional magazines and makes you more efficient when deploying bipods. An absolutely terrible idea, it has to be said. Firstly, whoever needs additional magazines with an LMG when you have a 200 round mag, another 200 round stuff down your trousers or wherever the hell your soldier keeps it, and on top of that, you're actually the only class in the game that can actually resupply ammo. And bipods? Who the hell uses a bipod? I mean really dice. Anyway, luckily for you and me, all of us really, dice look like they're changing this. So the support class now gets a new proficiency with a new weapon type. They will now have a faster draw time with SMGs. Now that to me is pretty huge. SMGs are already the fastest weapon in the game, if you like, fastest sprint to fire, fastest to ADS, etc. And they're some of the best weapons in the game too. And now they're going to be even better in the hands of a support. The support class may have just moved to my number one class spot. Honestly, that sounds really powerful, but of course, we'll have to see how it plays out in game. Now, engineers, Liz, Crawford, and Boris. So previously, engineers 
had a proficiency with utility weapons that allowed them to reload faster. Not a bad proficiency overall, but in general, utility weapons are the least used weapons in the game. They have their moments, there are times when picking up a shotty is a good move or you just want to dick around with a crossbow, but for the most part, none of the utility weapons are well-balanced weapons that can be used in a good many situations. So you'll be happy to know that dice have changed this. The LMGs are now the weapon of choice for engineers. A first, I believe, for Battlefield, as these have always traditionally belonged to the support class. Although I did miss a few Battlefield games, so don't come at me with pitchforks if I'm wrong about that. So the proficiency is improved accuracy while crouched or prone. Something that crouching or proning already accomplishes. I honestly think they should perhaps consider making it improved accuracy full stop, just overall. The support's SMGs benefit from a faster draw time all the time, the assault class benefits from extra mags all the time, so why should you have to crouch or prone to make use of the LMG proficiency? Of course, once again, it depends how much of an accuracy buff this is, it might be really, really solid and actually worth crouching for, so I guess we'll see with that one. There also could be a worry that if they gave them a big accuracy buff overall, then, you know, with a 200 round magazine, you could just be way too powerful with an LMG. And then finally here we have the Recon class, so that's Casper, Pike, Rao and the unannounced Season 4 Specialist. Now the old proficiency here was that you're faster to stabilise when holding breath with a sniper and you can hold your breath for longer durations. The new proficiency is immediate and constant steady scope. So that basically sounds like you don't have to hold your breath at all, you just ADS and there will be no sway whatsoever. Honestly, this is the most boring proficiency to me, but at the same time, I am aware that there really isn't that much you can do with a sniper rifle. Of course, changing the recon proficiency from the sniper rifle to another weapon class is just out of the question. Recons have and will probably always be snipers, and with sniper rifles, there isn't a whole lot you can really change. However, I feel this change doesn't really mean a lot for a sniper, and they might want to look at adding something to it, like perhaps a faster reload time, or maybe faster rate of fire on the bolt action snipers, or even increased accuracy. In any case, I am certainly looking forward to patch 3.2 and seeing how you guys all react to the class changes. I have a sneaky suspicion that we may hear something pretty soon about this, perhaps even as early as next week, maybe even a release date. So keep your eyes peeled to the channel, guys. I will definitely be sure to cover that as well. But if you're hungry for more now, go check out my last video covering the Battle for Nordvik event. Whatever you do though, thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with me. Have a lovely day and I'll see you guys in the next one.